Lesson 43. Je suis. This lesson is a special lesson because in it we have our very first French pronoun and our first French verb, too. Francois, can you help us out with the pronunciation of these two new words? Yes, for me, it's you just follow the right rule. There is one S you pronounce, U is a U, E is a E, and the last S is not pronounced because there is no E B uh, after it. So, suis, je suis. I was tempted to pronounce it with a Z sound, but uh, based on what you're saying, it gets a hissing S sound at the beginning. So it's not zwi, it's sui. Now in these commentary recordings, we don't want to go over every exercise because that would get tedious, but there are a few we'd like to comment on, and in this particular lesson, number eight is one of those. Francois, can you read out uh, exercise number eight for us? Au revoir, les enfants. If our listeners are thinking the same thing I'm thinking, the question would be, why have the definite article in front of the word enfant. In English, we wouldn't say uh, goodbye, the children. We would just say goodbye, children. Well, you address your au revoir to someone. For me, the reason why you have to have les enfants, if you say au revoir enfant, enfant is pronounced the same whether it's singular or plural. So you're not going to know if you're saying goodbye child or goodbye children. So you need the les. Yes. In, in singular, you would not say au revoir l'enfant. You would say au revoir enfant. And this exercise doesn't really give us any context. It's just a, a short sentence. Yes, I think both forms can exist. Au revoir enfant, au revoir les enfants. And yes, it depends if, if the context b before these words can say what we are, who, who we are addressing this au revoir. It's an unusual form anyway. I guess my question is, if you're saying goodbye to a group of children and you want to say goodbye to all of them, how would you do that? You would say that, you're right. Or, either you say au revoir and you don't say who, either you say au revoir les enfants. So this is a definite difference between English grammar and French grammar. In English, we would not say goodbye the children. In French, you use the definite article more often than you would in English anyway. Right, and this is a concrete example of one time when that is the case. 